close up. The best looking bag I've ever seen. Ooh, push me up. Mm. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to cut your potato in half and cut your potato vertically. And once you've done that, cut your potato into strips the same way I'm doing right now. And they should look like this. Once you've done that, put your potatoes in a bowl, season them with some Cajun seasoning. I used blackened Cajun seasoning because the seasoning is really, really nice. So with that, I added in about a tablespoon and a half, and then I would just shake the um, chips so everything was getting coated evenly. And then I added in some garlic granules as well. Like you can't go wrong with garlic. It really gives the chips a nice kick. With the garlic, just add in as much as you can. I think I probably added in half a teaspoon. And then I just continue to shake the chips to make sure everything is evenly coated. So go in as much as you want to with your Cajun seasoning. It's totally up to you and your taste preferences. So with this, I added about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then you'll just need to keep shaking your chips to make sure that everything is evenly coated, all the chips have um enough oil on them and they should look like this so once you finish seasoning your chips you can get an oven tray i used this air fryer um tray that came with the air fryer and then when you're doing this just make sure you don't overcrowd your oven tray or your air fryer tray as well you want all your chips to evenly cook and thoroughly cook as well but I didn't want to use two trays so I just tried to make room for every single one and with this I would advise to leave them in for 30 minutes at a 250 heat although it says 200 on there it needs to be 250 so once you're doing that, just cut up all your vegetables, depending on what you want on your burger. I chose cucumber, tomato, spinach, and I also got some chilies as well because that's what I like on my burgers and a fresh onion. In a pan, you'll need to heat up some oil for your burger patties. I added in my Beyond Burger patties and what I like to do with them is just flatten them a little bit and with these they took the shape really nicely and they didn't shrink like the normal burger patties you would use. At this point you can add your garlic seasoning and your black pepper depending on what you like on your burgers. With these I didn't add any salt whatsoever because I felt like it didn't need it. So what I added in here was the chilies because I just wanted to wanted them to be cooked a little bit. And I followed the instructions on the packet to cook them on each side for three minutes. So now I'm going in with the garlic seasoning and the fine black pepper as well. and then flipping them over. So I cooked that side initially for two minutes. That's only to get the seasoning on those sides. And then I flipped them back over again for another minute. So I went in with some chili cheese and then I covered them for about a minute so the cheese could melt a little bit. So I have a toasted brioche bun and I'm going in with some garlic mayonnaise, some cucumber. You can literally layer your burger any way you want to do. I literally did a freestyle because that's what I thought would look good. Then I went in with my fresh onion. I did want to cook my onions, but I like them fresh on a burger. It gives it a nice kick if you like onions. 
and then my tomatoes. So the reason why I have foil around the burger is sort of to contain the burger so it doesn't fall apart and that's why I wrapped it all together like a little baby to just make sure nothing slips or slides and I went in with my mayo and barbecue sauce. Did you actually think I was going to have a dry burger? I don't think so. So I will also put my Cajun fries on the side. Yeah, that brioche bun's a little bit toasted, but it was fine. And I went in for some corn and that's how I made my vegetarian double burger. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a double Beyond Burger. It's a vegetarian vegan burger that I decided to make and buy and try. And then I've also made some homemade Cajun fries. You saw me make them in the video little bit crispier <laughs> than um usual they taste nice but so thought at the way this looks i've got some barbecue sauce here and i've also got some garlic mayonnaise but look how good this looks and some corn on the cob the bun is a bit char grilled but that looks beautiful can't wait to eat because i'm hungry i haven't ate the whole day and look at that some onions cheese spinach barbecue sauce and some chilies there as well but i've got foil on there only because i don't want the burger to go everywhere it's going to be a little bit of a messy mukbang but i'm going to just suck into this because i'm really hungry and some yeah oh there's more to it let's give me another close up the best looking burger I've ever seen. Oh, mm. It's so good. With this vegan bun with those vegan patties as well it tastes like really beefy i can't explain it but it tastes like the real deal mm. Mm. i hope you try this because that's so nice. It doesn't even look vegetarian either. Mm. I just bit the inside of my mouth and it really hurts. <sighs> mm -mm. This is good. I think I should be okay. Mm. These are really crispy. You think putting them in the air fryer and go soggy but they're really crispy mm. Ooh. that blackened cajun seasoning on them fries or chips is amazing if it's changed a little bit i had to take a little time out because the inside of my mouth was really painful because i bit into it <sighs> yeah i'm gonna add some mayo on the side but this is literally the nicest burger I have tasted. I've got, got some pomegranate juice as well. I oh, know I don't have fizz a fizzy drink today because we don't have any. We've just got juice in the house. Ooh, but this will do for today. But these chips are so nice. Mm. Five guys, copycat with a bit of corn. Mm. Mm. I love garlic mayo. I know when you're eating a burger, like what type of person do you do? You eat all the fries first and then you leave the burger till last. 
Um, and do you eat all the burger and then leave the fries? Oh, you're oh, good. Mm. The inside of the bag sort of looks to medium rare, and I followed the cooking instructions to make that, but it is good. Mm. I really don't understand how they made this. If I made this video and told you, didn't tell you, I mean, this was um, a vegan burger, you wouldn't know. Well, a vegetarian because I added cheese on it. Mm. All the flavors on it. Mm. Oh. Mm. The British weather is so weird. I swear it was like sunny for like two weeks straight and now all we've got is rain, 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 rain. I think it's going to be raining for about two weeks straight. But it looks sunny today but it was raining this morning. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> These chips are so nice. That like Cajun seasoning gives it the kick that it needs. I did sprinkle a bit of salt off camera for these chips. But if you don't like salt, you literally have them with the seasoning by itself like that. Mm. I'm literally obsessed with me. This is the next bit I'm gonna bite into. The barbecue sauce just dripping on the side. I literally have to open my jaw so much because it's such a big burger. The fresh onion gives it such a different kick. I love onion. I'm gonna saute some onions and put it on this burger. But I was like, you know what? Let me put a fresh onion on there, give it a bit of flavour. The garlic mayo, the barbecue, the spinach. I like spinach on my burgers as well. And I've got cucumber and tomato in there. Mm. 
the month I decided to go vegetarian. McDonald's decided to open. <laughs> I can't wait until Five Guys opens again because their burgers are top to you. And their milkshakes as well. Oh my goodness. Mm. So, so nice. The black and Cajun's a little bit spicy as well. I thought it was the jalapenos or the chilies um, in the burger. It's a bit spicy, but it's nice. I used to be so shy in front of the camera, but I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with time it doesn't bother me anymore love it because i do what i like eating and cooking as well this brioche bun makes such a huge difference i don't like the sesame seed buns they seem to be like a lot more drier like very dry No matter how much sauce you put on your food, they're always dry. But brioche buns have made the burger game so much better. I've not tried the brioche um, hot dog buns, but I'd like to see what that would taste like. Never tried that before. I normally just have like the normal um, hot dog buns on a barbecue mm. wow i've eaten so many chips i normally don't finish my chips as well when i've got a burger or we'll ever have them sometimes I really am yeah, enjoying this. I'm still baffled at the, how this isn't me. I feel like I'm gonna start buying these burger patties instead of like the normal ones when I'm making um, burgers at home. Because sometimes when you chew them, they've got a bit of gristle in them. for crystal it makes me want to throw up mm. 
that has a really smoky taste to it I, I, they did amazing no wonder everyone was hyping about them i know i'm late to the party but i don't know how Wow. This is good. Now onto the sweet corn. I feel like um, frozen sweet corn tastes weird. Mm. Might be the way I cooked it, but I don't know. I think I prefer the fresh one over that one. Pardon me. But I love pomegranate juice. Don't have it all the time, but it's good. Whew. That was needed because I was starting to get a little bit hungry. Mm. But I know if you're gonna try to be vegetarian or vegan i highly recommend the beyond burger i got it from costco i think it was like 19 pounds 99 and you get 10 in a box but it is so good i'm not surprised it's that price as well because sometimes when you're eating like normal um burger patties they're just a bit weird like i do get like quarter pounders from like little and as double Sometimes I don't know what it is about me. It's just a little bit, you know Weird, but I think I'm like full and ready to go into like Like the food's just knocked me out like I'm knocked out I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep, but I won't because I've got stuff to do But thank you so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe like the video Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. See ya